So now I'm the guy that developed this test, this idea of taking a non-contact tester um, and being able to use it to detect hot skin conditions because the RV industry and the, and the, the manufacturing industry of this had no idea that you could do this. Now, again, what this does is figures out, it, it actually, dis, it, it's, you can use it in a receptacle, but that's the least of what I do. I use it to discover if something big is energized. Um, so here's how it works. And so I had to build all of this stuff. This stuff does not exist, you know. You just don't go find this in a, in a store. Um, so, uh, and Alan is and my kids, Alan and my other kids, we've, they've helped me come up with different versions of this stuff over the years. Um, but this guy right here, let me just show you a little bit. So when you get any, and this is my little baby Westphalia, isn't he just the cutest little thing? Let's go ahead, let me show you. Here we go. So first off, I can go ahead and I can set this, so we can kind of monitor all the voltages that I'm going to send into my little guy right here. So if I take this guy here and I turn him on, um, and you know, once I get down close to this, let's see. even though this says 100 volt minimum, if you touch your RV with it, it'll go off. Okay, so now this is the real fun thing. Um, okay, you see this little guy? It is this. Guess what his name is? Fla and why? He's, he's a flashbulb. So here, let's see. Here we go. This is a little ground plane. And I've got a little metal screw in the front because this body is all metallic. I'm going to go ahead and turn some juice on. So now he's energized with 120 volts. And I've not done this in a little while, so we, hopefully this will work. I will tell everybody, and I even tell myself, um, do not look at the bulb directly. Be I, keep, I keep doing it, and I'm like, oh, pur big purple blobs, okay? So here's the thing. You can touch the RV all you want when you're standing in the RV. You can touch the ground in front of it all you want when you're standing on the ground. What you don't want to do is get between the dirt and your hand. Because if you do, then... This is what happens. I'm trying not to look, trying not to look. Ow. And I looked. Ow. Ouch. Yeah, there's another dollar. So high tech. But you can see you do not want to be you don't want to become flash because a heart, you know, that heart thing can happen just that quickly. It it really can. Because because virtually everything metal in your RV is bonded to the chassis. Your door frame, your door handle, your bumper, your axle, your hitch, your propane system, your, your, your tow vehicle, the entire thing will be energized. Um, another thing that can energize them is uh, even your diesel heater. You know, like your, your block heater, they get a pinhole leak in them, they'll energize the, your pickup truck. And then guess what your pickup truck does? Energizes your entire RV. And this is the craziest stuff. They're all bonded together by code. 